When it comes to adding members and players to your organization, you have a few options. You could opt to add each member manually or import a file of member information under their directory tab, but the recommended approach is to use TeamSnap's registration tool, which organization administrators can find under the registration tab in your organization's site. Click the Create Your First Registration Form button to get started. You'll start off by naming your form. It's a good idea to include the season or year in the form name to help keep all your forms organized year after year. Next, you'll see your form dashboard with all your form management tabs. The form overview tab is where you can see your active form fields at a glance and manage whether fields are required or optional. Under form fields, you can add new custom field and manage existing fields by activating or deactivating or editing them. If you need to rearrange the order of your custom fields, you'll need to hop over to your organization's settings tab where you can reorder those under the custom fields section. If you aren't a lacrosse organization, you can skip over the Verify Membership section. If you are a lacrosse organization and you'd like to gather U.S. lacrosse member IDs and verify them through your registration form, you can enable that field here. Next is the Waivers section where you can set up waiver text and or upload a waiver file to generate an electronic date and time step of acceptance. Any waiver added here will be required and registrants will not be able to proceed to next steps until they have electronically signed each waiver. The Documents tab enables you to provide documents for registrants to download, such as medical waivers requiring signatures, as well as the ability for registrants to upload required documents like insurance cards, and can also accept photo uploads of documents. The Programs tab is where you can structure required or optional fees for various programs, ability levels, or age groups. For instance, 12U boys and 12U girls. The Fees tab, on the other hand, allows you to set up additional optional or required fees that apply per registrant or per family. Once you've saved your fee options, you'll next want to indicate which payment methods will be accepted under the Payments and Adjustments tab. You'll also be able to set up installment payment plans and automatic adjustments to fee amounts based on responses to custom fields that you create. For example, you can create a discount code custom text field or a discount based on whether or not the registrant is a returning player. The final instructions and activation tab will allow you to set your registration dates, registrant limits, whether or not you would like for the registration form to create rosters that may be assigned to teams post-registration, and any specific details or instructions you'd like to communicate to registrants along the way. Once complete, you can preview and test the form that you have created. You can activate your registration form by selecting open and close dates, or you can opt not to use dates and open and close the registration manually. Once you've activated the form, you'll have a public registration address available on your registration form dashboard that you can use to share with your participants via email or post it on a website to allow them to register. 